Adrian LaFosse here with the Columbia New Home Buyer Team from Columbia, South Carolina. Actually, today we're doing a video tour of the Carina floor plan built by Hurricane Builders. They've been around for quite a while in the Columbia market, um, building, actually, they're quite innovative builder. They're always doing something. They're always tweaking. They're always enhancing. They're always including more and more standard features that used to be upgrades and are sometimes still upgrades by other builders. So I wanted to take this opportunity to show you this Carina floor plan. This is, um, I wouldn't say 100% uh, completed home. It's sort of what would you call like the 98, 99% completed. You'll notice that there are still a few things left to do, and that's actually a good opportunity to talk about a few things as we're going through the house. Now this floor plan is about 2940 square feet, so it's rather large. Uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It actually has an option to be built with, um, instead of a fourth bedroom, to be built with a loft. Now this one is an all brick version. Though actually I don't, typically on these videos, I don't show the outside of the houses that much, at least on the sides. Um, so the fronts are relatively the same from neighbor to neighborhood, because actually this, this floor plan is built in the vast majority of Hurricane Builders neighborhoods, regardless if it's an all brick neighborhood or a brick with vinyl side, siding. So before we take a look on the inside, I do want to point out something that's very unique at this time for this builder, and that is this stamp right here, this concrete stamp that's on the, uh, the pad, the driveway pad. You know, it's just pretty, pretty neat, very interesting, very unique for them. Um, you also notice that uh, this has what we call architectural shingles, you know, since they're sort of a side-by-side -side sort of flat look. I don't know, I call these sort of like a wood chalet look. This is not, maybe not in every single neighborhood that, that uh, Hurricane builds, but it's in, it seems like in a vast majority of them. And again, that, that's pretty much an upgrade as well. So regardless of the neighborhood, you're going to see a brick front or some stone accents or whatnot. That we're actually in the uh, Woodmill, all brick neighborhood in Lexington, South Carolina, but they build this home from uh, even Sumter in uh, the Irmo area in the Lexington area, Northeast Columbia, pretty much everywhere that you want to be. Blythewood. Okay. Oh, I do want to mention though that uh, again this uh, this video is being done to show you the feature of this floor plan by Hurricane Builders, but the Columbia New Home Buyer Team, we do a lot of these videos of all types of different builders and their different floor plans and neighborhoods and provide you with lots of information. Just want to let you know, we do not actually represent the builders. We represent buyers of new homes. So we can help you with any builder, and we make sure that you get the best deal and the best service. Okay? Let's go ahead and take a, take a closer look on the inside. I guess to tell you right off the bat here, again, this is becoming a little more standard. It's amazing with all the changes in the marketplace. There's a lot more things that used to be upgrades now standard. But uh, this glass, this glass front door, this oval shape, um, used to be an upgrade. Actually, like four hundred dollars at least. All right. One of the first things that you notice in this home that you're greeted by a combination formal living room, formal dining room, and some stunning features here. All this crown molding and shadow box molding and encased windows and really nice lighting fixtures and check this out right here this wrought iron and wood treads on your staircase I'm gonna tell you that this is a standard feature pretty much regardless of price point if it's a two-story house with hurricane builders and this cost one pretty penny with some other builders around town and you'll notice these beautiful hardwood floors that uh, some builders you know everyone has a builder does something a little bit different a little bit better than the others and obviously you can see some of these features that uh, hurricane builders some of them are the same as others and some of them just go well beyond and one of the things that I just wanted to point out is You'll notice the entire downstairs, with the exception sometimes of a bedroom downstairs, 
on all of their homes, pretty much regardless of price point, uh, they have hardwoods. So on most houses, like you might see the hardwoods right here, but when we continue to view the, the house, you'll notice hardwoods, hardwoods, hardwoods on the, on, the first, on the first floor. So if you like hardwoods, hurricanes got you covered. All right, so let's go ahead and take a, a closer look here. We've now entered the family room. You have to excuse that actually the lights are not on on this property right now. But I think we have good, we have good lighting. Um, this is a feature that they do on most of their larger houses, maybe not on a 1400 or a 1700 square foot house, but on larger houses I've definitely been noticing. These built-ins, um, they're pretty, it depends on the neighborhood. Sometimes the fireplace is standard and then sometimes it is an upgrade. Though actually I've recently found out that pretty much for the most part they seem to keep on adding it as now a standard feature. Uh, I mean just right there, I mean that's uh, $3,000 that are including in the price. The hardwoods they put down are so much, or double, you know, three times as much as what some of the other builders are doing. I mean, that's five, eight, ten thousand dollars right there. Granite countertops, standard. Pretty much everybody's doing that now. Now you notice that this is the kitchen right here, and you've got a bar and uh, the granite countertops. That's standard. You'll notice that the appliances are not in right now. Hurricane standard for appliances, though, would be a smooth top stove sometimes gas, depends on the neighborhood, uh, and a microwave would go right there, and then a dishwasher would go right there, and they would be all stainless, and that's standard. That's, that's, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty exciting. Now you will notice that there's blue tape in a few areas and a few areas that still need attention. That's one of the really wonderful, neat things about buying a new home is that you actually, before closing, you know, hopefully the builder does a wonderful job in uh, checking behind themselves, so to speak, uh, for any imperfections, but you get an opportunity to typically to meet, meet with builders to um, point out any blemishes or concerns that you have about the uh, about the property and the blue tape is there to you know help the painters find what is needed to be looked after now you'll notice this pedestal is beautiful right here and this uh, really nice mirror to match really nice uh, sort of a brush nickel type uh, light fixtures now I have seen them over time change this on some houses. This is not standard or they just don't have these in stock and they put in a more traditional pedestal or cabinetry just to let you know. Um, there'll actually be a closet uh, in here. This is uh, not a pantry. The pantry was in the kitchen. I think you notice uh, definitely a feature that they go above and beyond is you'll notice the tile flooring. Here, this is the washer and dryer room on the way to the garage. Now, something that a lot of builders are doing more and more, and that is uh, insulated doors. And then also, too, you'll notice that on the right-hand side right there, that's for automatic sprinkler. And you'll also notice, hey, isn't that strange? Normally, that's where a hot water heater goes, a big tank, right? Well. Nowadays, pretty much every builder, at least those that have uh, gas in the community, which is a vast majority of new homes nowadays, they actually have tankless hot water heaters, and it's actually a box that goes on the outside of the house and it flash heats water on demand. So this, that saves you um, sometimes a few hundred bucks or, or more uh, per year. And so you know, this is sort of an eat-in kitchen area, you know, in between uh, the family room and the kitchen. Now, you'll notice that on the back of this house, and again, this yard is different than others in this neighborhood and for this builder, so don't really look at the yard right now. Now, you'll notice this has a covered porch. This actually is something that, depending on neighborhood, sometimes is all, quite often, especially in a house this size, is standard, and that's an incredible value. Um, they actually undervalue when they used to charge for it. Um, honestly, I put the value at about four to $5,000. So we'll go ahead and swing through here and, 
and take a closer look. Now, while we're doing that, we're getting ready to go upstairs. We're going to go ahead and tell you about, if you didn't already know this, that when you buy a new home, I've already mentioned about getting the opportunity, you know, to have that house just right at the time of closing, but you also get a lot of warranties with a new home. That's, that's a really neat thing. And that's because you get a one-year door-to-door warranty, sort of like a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, excuse me, on the house the first year. And then you get a two-year extended warranty and a 10-year structural warranty. And that's on top of all of the different warranties that you get on individual components on the house as well. You know, for instance, you know, the shingles and the siding and, um, and the appliances and everything, they come with their, their own individual warranties. So here's a very good size bedroom up front, nice and bright, and a nice and bright, very good size closet. And then granite countertops in this full bathroom and tile. I'm gonna tell you, you just can't find that nowadays. Uh, actually, Hurricane sets a lot of standards for builders that they come in and copy, but right now I can't think of anybody. It's including in all bathrooms, laundry rooms. Here's another secondary bedroom. You've got a really good uh, wide landing area right here, but it's not wasted space. I mean, it's just, it's just enough. I mean, it's not, it's not overdoing it. Now to my right, that was, that's, that's for last, that's the master bedroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at another secondary bedroom. And while, while we're doing that, I wanted to continue about the warranty. So we talked about all the warranties that are on uh, new homes on the individual parts. And that one year warranty, those are things like, you know, if anything comes up due to the, the while they installed it, uh, anything that's, you know, these are man-made uh, products and natural products that may adjust over time and uh, you know, are installed by man and woman. So rest assured that if you have an issue, wow, that's a big closet, again with another window, very unique. Um, you get that one year, you get that time for them. To, if it's a non-emergency item, if it's just a small thing, then they'll come back and they'll go ahead and um, they'll, they'll take care of that at one time. They have emergencies, they give you emergency numbers. All right, let's check out this master bedroom on this Karina floor plan. Very good size master. That's the bathroom right here, but I'm just going to go ahead and pan around, and you're going to notice it's just going to keep on getting bigger and bigger. And hey, you've got an extra room basically right here. So you can imagine, you know, that could be your TV area, that could be your, you know, your coffee area, your, um, you know, exercise room, whatever you like, office. And I want to point something out here that actually, this is something that's very unique for this builder. I haven't seen anybody do yet. And that is, this is a three zone when it comes to heating and air unit in this house. You'll notice that this wire sticking right here, there's nothing attached to it yet. The thermostat's actually gonna go there. Now, there's a thermostat out in the hallway that covers the rest of the upstairs. You got a thermostat up here in the master, and then you have a thermostat downstairs. It's three zones. So you can imagine, you can really adjust the, the temperature is based on you know, time of day and what's comfortable for you. So, I mean, ultimately that can lead to lower, you know, utility bills being more efficient. One last thing I want to cover on the, on the warranties, the two year covers still a, a more major items to do with the house and then you get a 10 year structural warranty that covers, you know, like the, the roof line and the, uh, and the foundation, and the, the two and the 10 are actually bonded. It's like if even if the builder went out, of, went out of business, you're still covered. Again, recurring theme here, really nice cabinetry, granite countertops, tile, flooring. Here in the master, you've got a garden tub, and I can't tell you how wonderful it is to see that sort of glazed privacy on the glass there. Um, not every builder offers that standard 
And when they do offer it, it's at least $400 to do that. You got a really good uh, stand up shower here with a, uh, a little stool area to sit. And then uh, hopefully you can see this. I do have a light to help brighten this up a little bit. Really good size master closet. So that has been the tour of this Karina built by Hurricane Builders. They're in lots of places around town, everywhere that you want to be. And don't forget, you know, if you want to find more video tours just like this, of, diff of more of Hurricane new homes being built and uh, more of other builders, you know, reviews on uh, neighborhoods, informational videos to teach you about the buying process, unique properties of new homes. You want to find all that, more information about the latest incentives and deals on homes, uh, new homes for sale in the greater Columbia area. The, the place to go is ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com. So on there, you also find on there links to more videos just like this. You also, if you found this on YouTube, then you'll, you'll find a link to more YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoyed today's video tour. And remember, you can find more at ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com.